director of the Institute for Mindfulness Studies. So it's a treat to have you all here. And for those of you who don't know, the University of Miami School of Law has this contemplative practices program. This is part of a series. The series is called, that's not what your brain can do for you, but what you can do for your brain. The last seminar was on exercise and how exercise enhances aspects of our brain's structure and function and growth and all that sort of stuff. And this particular program is on sleep and napping and how it is that sleep and napping we can use intentionally, you know, with deliberate intent to bring about changes to the structure and function or some aspect of our brain or take advantage of the way our brain is functioning at various times to sort of move into those moments of sleep or napping when it can be most advantageous for us. Well, here's my intention with you all today. We're going to talk in large measure about the benefits of sleep. We're going to talk about some of the detriments that come, or the costs from being deprived of sleep. We'll talk about the science of sleep, the different stages of sleep, and what goes on while we're sleeping. We'll talk about the science of napping. I'm very interested in sharing with you how you can utilize napping to be more effective during the day and the evening, and even have a more effective sleep cycle at night. And there's a couple of different ways of doing it, so you'll be able to sort of tease apart what might work best for you. Everything we talk about here, and anything that you take with you to try, is for you to try and experiment with for yourself, because we're all different, and the science, while it's extraordinary, is still a developing science, and we can talk about some of that. We do. And I'd like to begin with this exercise. And all of the uh, juricite exercises involve the hands, and they're known as the learned hand exercises, so I'm going to share with you one of them called 478 Hands. And on the Mindful Law Student website, themindfullawstudent.com, you can click and watch videos of me doing it with, demonstrating with law students, so you can really remind yourself of it. Law students and lawyers find it very helpful for a variety of things. Anybody wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning ever and have trouble falling back asleep? It's helpful for that for example. Anybody have a little just before you go to bed sometimes it's a little difficult to fall asleep? It can be helpful for that too. So, it's called 478 hands because the 478 is a count. It's a breathing count and it's a movement of the hands count. And it looks like this. We open our hands and inhale to the count of four. We hold our breath and keep our hands stretched open for the count of seven. And then we exhale and close our fingers to the count of eight. You're able to breathing through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. So, with your hands just slightly placed out, you can look at me or others to guided by it. I'll begin by saying three, two, one, so you'll know when we're about to start. So three, two, one. Inhale and open your fingers. Two, three, four. Hold your fingers and your breath. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale and close your fingers. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And close your eyes and just rest in this moment. aware of breathing, that is try to bring awareness to your belly, allowing it to move easy and free, and to just be aware of this extraordinary cycle, like the tides, like the wind, of your own breathing. 